Alléluia. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sorry for the late coming. Good evening, my dear beloved brothers and sisters. In the Lord, may the Lord bless us and keep us in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let us pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you, worship your name, we exalt you for your God. We thank you for another opportunity you are giving for us to gather again in your name tonight. Lord, may your name be praised and your name be glorified. Put now forevermore in Jesus' name. Lord God, as we are about to go into your word, we ask that you give us the understanding of your word tonight. In the name of Jesus, may you speak to us. May you give us the understanding. And as we hear the word, will not be the hearers of this word also but the doers of this word in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Heavenly Father for in Jesus mighty name we are pray amen hallelujah the Lord is good all the time thank you thank you Lord Oh, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, thank you, Lord, oh, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Oh, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Oh, what manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, what manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah, hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah, hallelujah. He made the blind to see. Hallelujah. Oh, he made the lame to walk. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. We thank you, Lord, you are holy, and forever you are God. We bless you, Lord, you are holy, and forever you are God, and forever you are God. We thank you, Lord, you are holy. 
Holy Lord, and forever you are God. Thank you, Lord, for you are holy and forever you are God. Thank you, Ashes of Days. Thank you, I am that I am. Blessed be your holy name. And forever you will be our God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our today's message is titled Examine Yourself. Examine Yourself. So our today's message. As the year is coming to an end, as the year is about to end, it is also good and very important that we all examine ourselves. Yes, we want to see Christmas, we want to celebrate Christmas, we want to enter the year 2023. We want to see the year 2023 and it is also important as it is important for us to celebrate Christmas and to enter the year 2023 it is very necessary that we all examine ourselves we all examine our journey from January to December, we all examine our spiritual lives and every part of our lives. Whether we like it or not, as Christians, we must be watchful of the devil and also his trick. The devil is eager to deceive us in any way he can. Most especially in this period of Advent, this period of Christmas that everyone is preparing to celebrate the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in this season, it's also the season that the devil is also interested in and it all is evil trick to make sure that it trick the children of God or to make sure that we go astray if we are preparing to meet Jesus or to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ and we do not know this man that we want to celebrate it means that it has the Christmas itself is of no meaning to us and by so doing because we want to meet up and the devil always walk through our heart to implement some certain things or pleasant things when we give room to him so this is the reason as we are anticipating to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ and as the year draws to an end or comes to an end that we examine ourselves spiritually physically and otherwise the devil is determined to steal our salvation by misleading us in different ways either in seeking for things that do not seek us pursuit of money we want to impress we want to meet up by so doing we are ready to do to go extra mile to make sure that we meet up these are not necessary this is not the purpose of the season the purpose of the season is to celebrate the Prince of Peace, the Lord of Lords, who will bring us good tidings. Remember, Christmas is a season of love, it's a season of peace, it's a season of blessings, and also reconciliation. 
the devil is at his best at this particular time to make sure that he ruins the life of believers because he's interested in our lives not the ones that have already missed it already so for us not to fall into his track we have to examine ourselves we have to check our mind we have to check our level of spirituality hallelujah we must examine ourselves daily to ensure we are still on God's side. Hallelujah. The Bible makes us to understand that we have to assess ourselves if we are still in the faith, if we are still in the Lord. Are we obeying God's command? Are we still living a righteous life? And not just all that. We must examine thoroughly what we believe in, what we accept, what we do, what we follow, and also what we participate in. Hallelujah. Often time we have heard what our spiritual leaders, the pastors, thank God today for the social media that we have opportunity to hear from different people on the word of God based on the inspiration of the Holy Spirit upon them. So we are not ignorance of those words we are not ignorance of those teachings we are not ignorance of those laws and that calls for us you and i today for re-examine our mind re-examine ourselves to see if we are still standing firm to see the areas that we need to improve on our spiritual life can be like a mirror where we can stand after dressing up or making up and see if we are looking good and when we are standing in front of that mirror it pronounced to us if we are okay or not and if we are not okay we began to correct the errors if it is hair that is not well combed we began to comb it well if it is a shirt that we do not put in we begin to arrange it well and this is how it's supposed to be also in our spiritual life this is how we are to examine our inner heart and our inner mind hallelujah According to the book of Second Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5. Second Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5 says, Examine yourself to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourself. Do not realize that Christ Jesus is in you unless, of course, you fail the test. Hallelujah. Examine yourself to see if you are on the Lord. Do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you unless, of course, you fail the test? Hallelujah. Until we fail the test. We have to realize, we have to discover, we have to to find out that Christ is in us. Hallelujah. Examine yourself to see whether you are in the faith. 
tells yourself, do not realize that Christ Jesus is in you, unless of course you fail the test. Except I fail the test. So it is very important that as we are preparing for the feast of Christmas, we prepare ourselves both spiritually and physically. We made amend. The Jesus we want to celebrate, how much do we know him? How much do we obey him? How much do we keep to his teachings? The book of Lamentations chapter 3 verse 40. It says, let us examine our ways and test them and let us return to the Lord. Let us examine our ways and test them and let us return to the Lord. When we have examined according to lamentation, then we put them into tests if they are active. If those areas that we have examined, if they are okay, then we will not return to the Most High God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lamentation 3.40 Examine our ways and test them and let us return to God. God is calling each and every one of us on a daily basis just for us to answer yes Lord just like Samuel will say speak Lord for thy servant is listening the Christmas is not well celebrated if we do not even know the reason for the season the Christmas is not well celebrated if we do not even know where to where whom we are celebrating and also in the book of first Corinthians 11 verse 28 it says everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat of the bread and drink from the cup so before we celebrate the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ it's not my birthday it's the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ we must do what First of all, see, everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat of the bread. Before we celebrate the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ, it means or drink from the cup. It means that we have to know him first. We have to love him first. We have to trust him first. And we have to serve him with the whole of our heart. God is God. It is of no use when we borrow money for the celebration, when we do all manner of things to celebrate, meanwhile we do not know whom we are celebrating. It is of a waste of time and resources when we put our hands in dangerous things, things that are not even present to us or rather than uh, present to, to us or to God just to celebrate Christmas but meanwhile our heart our mind is not acceptable our characters and our attitude our manner of approach to things are not pleasant to God Almighty we must therefore examine our mind we must therefore examine our conscience. We must therefore examine our spiritual life. Most now that the year is coming to an end, we now have to measure the level of our spirituality right now. Because we cannot enter the year 2023 the way we started 2022. This is time for us to put God in the front. This is a time for us 
to build walls of fire around us. This is a time for us to be more connected to the things of God. And this is a time for us to seek God like never before. When we do this, then when Christ comes, when the D day finally arrives, we see the joy, we see the peace, we see the blessings of Christmas around us. And it will be joyous and enjoyable. Our last Bible passage, first Corinthians chapter nine, verse twenty-seven. It says, No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the price. This is Apostle Paul talking. Even with the messengers, the preachers, it is also important that we examine ourselves. If all we have said, if all we have preached, and still we are the opposite of our words, it means that we have also failed. As a man of God, as a woman of God, how far and how have we been able to maintain also the message that we preach? We are about to step into another here. Things are not how to be the way they're supposed to be. We are not supposed to take anything for granted. We have to be good examples are good leaders and this is what jesus has come to taught us and this is what we must follow i pray as we prepare as we await the coming of our lord jesus christ as we wait to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is the Prince of Peace, the Lord of Lords, who will bring us everlasting peace and joy, happiness, and blessing. And the reason for the season, God we put smiles in our face, and God we perfect all His ways in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus, and may the Lord bless His word in our hearts. In Jesus name and we should not forget the topic says examine yourself there is no particular time we have to examine ourselves on a daily basis every minute and every second we have to ponder on our ways and also on the ways of the Lord to see if of a truth we are in the Lord I pray that as we continue to meditate as we continue to examine ourselves, God will help us to do away with those things that causes hindrance in our life, those things that separate us from the love of God, those things that make us not to obey the word of God. I pray that the blessings of the Lord, which is beyond measure, will be my portion and your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that the peace this season is bringing will remain in our houses in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray that as we are stepping into the year 2023, will be a greater and a better year for each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God will elevate us and take us to the next level in the name of Jesus. We pray that God will continue to teach us in His way on the way to follow the path to follow. God will teach us by himself the truth that we should know. Because the Bible says that we shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free. I pray whatever thing that have uh, become difficult, difficult in our life, God will make, is, is, make them easy for us in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray in our dreams and our revelations we will see Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. We also pray for those who have asked us to pray for them in one way or the other, that God in His infinite mercy, Lord, 
we see them through and answer all their prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray also for tender mercies of God, that God in his mercy will see us through. And the reason for this commission or for this um, this group we come to the manifestation because to we see the light of the day in the mighty name of Jesus and every of our private intentions may God answer us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah and we say happy Christmas in advance. Shalom the peace of the Lord be with us all in Jesus' name. Amen. So we share the grace in fellowship with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Ma. God bless you, Ma, for coming. God bless us all. In Jesus' name. Amen.